In this video, I'm going to give you three strategies on how to make sure that you get your training in during winter, even when the conditions are horrible, okay? Three strategies to help you through the winter. Hey guys, I just got back from a run in very winterly conditions here in Norway. I'm in my bathroom. I just took off my running clothes, put my normal clothes back on. I'm going to get back to work, but I want to make a video for you guys first giving you three um, strategies on how to cope with running in the winter, okay? And because a lot of people struggle with getting their training in during winter, especially in places like Norway, where it's a lot of snow, it's cold, it's dark maybe, it's wind, it might be rain, sleet, snow, you know, conditions can be pretty brutal here. And I don't like it. <laughs> I hate it actually. I hate winter. But uh, I still get my training in and there's a few things that I've learned about how to make sure that you get that training in. Strategies that are really powerful and I want to share them with you today. Alright, so tip number one relates to the bathroom. Uh, the room I'm in right now. Because the bathroom is crucial <laughs> to a good running routine in winter. Mainly because when you come home from a run, your clothes are going to be sweaty, they're going to be probably wet, you've been out in the snow, in the rain, whatever, you need to put them up for, to dry. And the best place to do that, of course, is the bathroom where it's warm and usually has good ventilation. And I do recommend having all your running clothes in the bathroom so that it's easily accessible because that, that's the other part of the bathroom tip. Uh, when you're heading out into the cold, into the snow, it's mentally difficult and physically difficult and having to take off your clothes, maybe your house is warm, maybe it's a little bit chilly, um, taking your clothes off to go out for a run, that's just a horrible start for the whole thing. Like it's just, it makes you, it makes me at least dread it even more, having to get a little bit cold, taking off my clothes. Um, but if I go into my bathroom where it's very warm and comfortable, tropical conditions, it's it's fine. I can take off my clothes. I'm comfortable. Maybe I'm listening to music. I'll put on my dry running clothes. I'll get ready and then I'll head out. And um, I just find that having, I mean, everyone has a bathroom obviously. And so it's not like a huge thing. You're already doing it probably. But I just wanted to mention it, you know, hang your running clothes to dry. Do all your changing in the bathroom rather than your bedroom or somewhere else. Um, it's just, I just feel like it's a better way to start your run in somewhere really warm and comfortable. Second tip relates to clothing, okay? Running clothes. It is crucial that you have quality gear. The equipment is so important during running in winter. I mean, it's always important, but at least in summer, oops, you can almost put on anything, just a pair of shorts, you know, t-shirt, whatever, head out the door. In winter, you gotta get a little bit more technical. And I'm not gonna get into sort of the details, the technical details about how to dress for winter running. But what I wanna say is that if you're running in, you know, tights that are meant for a little warmer weather and you're a little bit cold, or maybe you have a, a pair of pants that are not really meant for running, but you use them because it's extra cold these days and you just put on those pants instead because you don't have real running pants, or, you know, the, the, the types of uh, shirts that you're wearing, extra equipment like, you know, neck warmers, uh, hats, beanies, all kinds of stuff like that, headlamp, gloves, all these little things. The socks, you know, are you, are, you have socks where you're able to pull them up on your leg or, or do you get a little gap between the sock and your uh, pants, for example? That's, that's horrible. You cannot run in winter with a gap between your sock and your pants. Okay, so things like that make actually a big difference. So if you're struggling to sort of uh, get your running in in winter and you're, you're dreading the weather, I urge you to invest in some quality clothing. It'll make the whole experience so much better. Okay? All right, third tip, and this is probably the most important one. Okay, it's a mental tip. The first two tips were like Practical tips, just have a bathroom, do your changing in the bathroom, dry your clothes in the bathroom, get good quality clothing. Practical tips, 
But here's a mental tip, okay? For me, training is a priority. And I've already decided before the winter came, before the day comes, before the time for my run comes, I've decided already that I am going to run. And the weather is not ever, almost, something that I consider, okay? I might look out and think, oh, really, the weather is nice today, I look forward to going out, or oh my god, I'm dreading my run today, it's horrible outside. Sure, I'll have those feelings and those thoughts, but I'm not going to let it influence my decision as to whether I do the run or not. Because as soon as you start allowing those thoughts to creep in, okay, those thoughts like, the weather is not really optimal for running it today, or it's a bit too cold, I, I don't think it's healthy to run today, or mm, it's very slippery, I might fall, I better wait until tomorrow, or you know, as soon as you let those thoughts creep in, your continuity, your consistency in training will fail. <laughs> you will start to procrastinate, um, put off, cancel, modify sessions because of the weather, because there's always going to be some challenge in terms of weather, at least here in Norway, in the winter, okay? Um, so I just don't let it be a factor. Obviously, there are times where it's dangerous. I mean, it's, if it's an extreme snowstorm, um, obviously I'm not going to run, or I'm going to go on a treadmill. There are times where you shouldn't run, but that's very, very rare. I don't know of almost ever having skipped a run in the winter due to the weather. I don't think I've ever done it, honestly. So that's my main tip, really, actually. If you're serious about your training, if you're investing time and energy into your training and you want to see results, you have got to do the training. And uh, in order to do the training, you, you need to have the perseverance in times of difficulties. And the winter can be a difficult time, but if you do like a lot of people do, and just accept that, oh, you know, I, I won't train as much in winter, I'll, I'll start ramping it up again towards the spring, then you'll go through this cycle where you've lost your fitness through the winter, you're building it up again through the spring and the summer, you're in peak shape racing in autumn, and then you lose your fitness again during, during the winter, and you go through the same cycle again and again, year after year, and you don't really get any better, because you're not able to progress and to build and to get that consistency. So you have got to train through winter if you want consistency and progress. Just make the decision already now that you are going to run this winter. And having a plan as well uh, helps you a lot. I'm obviously an online running coach. You can check out my link to my website in the description. I make training plans for my clients and when they have it there in the calendar, when it's there in the plan, uh, whether I make it for you or you make it yourself, I urge you to have a plan, put it in the calendar and say, you know, on this day I'm going to run. And Maybe it's going to be a great day with fine weather, or maybe it's going to be a horrible day with just the absolute worst winter weather ever. Doesn't matter. You've made the decision already. You are going to run. And it just makes it a lot easier. I promise you. That's all. If you have any running tips that you want to share with the community, you could post a comment down below. Something you do maybe to make it easier for you to get through the winter uh, as a runner. Um, make sure to check out my website, my Instagram link, they're in the description. And stay tuned for more videos, subscribe and like this video of course. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day, bye.